honestly, I can't think of any issue where there are one act, eating meat, causes so many sad consequences. Damage to the environment, damage to the wild horses, which I'm talking about today, and other wildlife, the environmental degradation, the cruelty to the animals, and damage to your own health, heart disease, diabetes, cancer. Kindness, beauty, health, courage, and intelligence are characteristics personified by the effervescent and lovely lady featured on today's program. This week on Vegetarian Elite, we proudly present the first in a two-part series on award-winning television legal analyst and attorney, Lisa Bloom, who is a champion of animal rights and the earth-saving vegan lifestyle. Ms. Bloom is a practicing trial attorney who uses her superb legal skills to defend the rights of women, children, and others. Her own successful Los Angeles-based law firm has recently represented high-profile cases for Michael Lohan, actress Lindsay Lohan's father, and Oksana Grigorieva, actor Mel Gibson's former girlfriend. It is not surprising that her reputation as an outstanding lawyer, coupled with natural beauty and charm, led to a career in television as well. Well, it's Monday morning. I'm here at the Insider, and I'm just putting my lens on. For eight years, Lisa hosted a live national television show called Court TV. She currently serves as a legal analyst for CBS News and the famed CNN News Channel. She also makes frequent guest appearances on popular American television programs such as Anderson Cooper 360, The Early Show, Dr. Phil, The Situation Room, Issues with Jane Velez Mitchell, and The Insider. As a respected legal mind, Ms. Bloom is in high demand to provide her opinions on matters involving the law on air. Well, I'm a television legal analyst, so I work for CNN and CBS and some other shows. So I get called as needed, usually about two, three, or four shows a day. Some days I wake up at 2 a.m. to do the CBS early show, which is live at 4 a.m. Los Angeles time, 7 a.m. on the East Coast. Uh, other days I do the Insider, which we tape at about 7 a.m., which means I get up at 5 to get there for 6 for hair and makeup. Uh, today I got to sleep a little bit later, and in the morning I do my research. I read the New York Times, the Los Angeles Times, and then I read in depth on whatever my topics are for the day. So today I'm about to go on Jane Villa's Mitchell and talk about the roundup of wild horses in the American West. The Bureau of Land Management is rounding them up with helicopters. 77 have died already, mostly pregnant mares and foals. And um, so I'm going on air to talk about that and to talk about why I think it's a terrible thing and why I think it's grounded in cattle ranching because the land is being used more and more for cattle ranching and that's why we're driving the beautiful wild horses off the land. So seems to me that there is really no end to the sad consequences of meat production and meat consumption. This is just another sad example. Sometimes I pitch stories that are of interest to me. For example, California has proposed an animal registry, which would require people who abuse animals to register. I, I think that's a great idea. So I've been trying to get some attention to that, and I've uh, pitched shows, which means I send emails to the producers of shows that I work on and say, I think this is a great story. I think we should cover it. Here's what I think we should do.
Lisa Bloom follows a plant-based diet for a number of reasons, including her compassion for all beings and the health benefits. She is also deeply concerned about climate change, which prominent scientists say is chiefly driven by the enormous amounts of greenhouse gases released during the cycle of producing and consuming animal products. Earlier in November, Ms. Bloom was invited by the World Preservation Foundation and Dodds as one of the distinguished speakers in the climate conference, Leaders Preserving Our Future, Pace and Priorities on Climate Change, held at the Central Hall Westminster in London, United Kingdom. As we now know to a scientific certainty that animal production, confinement and slaughter is destroying our Earth. How is it possible that climate change is still considered a debatable issue, one on which reasonable minds may differ, when the greatest convergence of top scientific minds in human history, the IPCC, has convened four times and told us in the clearest possible terms that climate change is real, it is upon us, and it is human-caused, and it is shaping up to be the worst humanitarian and ecological disaster in human history. Diet can no longer be a matter of private choice when the choice to buy meat and dairy products causes unspeakable cruelty to sentient beings and when the choice is destroying our planet. Not only is vegan food the healthiest gift you can give your body, not only does it allow you to look in animals' eyes with compassion and without shame, vegan food is freaking delicious. Because concern about cl climate change is not just for the scientists and the politicians. The planet belongs to all of us. Invited as a special guest of honor for the same conference, Supreme Master Ching Hai shared encouragement via video message, urging leaders and co-citizens alike to make courageous, earth-saving changes. Now, some of us my question. Of law enforcement. This is a one-sided release of evidence. 35% of cases settled before trial. This is all the staff that put together the whole show for ET and the inside. I became vegetarian 32 years ago and you know, if the facts had changed, maybe I would have changed. But instead, the facts changed even more in the direction of being vegetarian. There's just more and more evidence about the connection to climate change and human health and the damage to the animals. So it just made me even more strongly want to be vegetarian and ultimately become vegan. Welcome back to Vegetarian Elite on Supreme Master Television, featuring an interview with the vibrant Lisa Bloom, a <laughs> vegan attorney and television legal analyst. Lisa promotes kindness to animals and believes that each life is precious. On many occasions, she has reported on factory farm abuses on television and cites the unconscionable practices of the animal agriculture industry as the prime reason she is vegan. I do it because I don't want to sponsor animal cruelty. I don't want to give one cent to the horrible things that go on in factory farms and CAFOs and battery cages for chickens, and I just can't be a part of it. There's a reason why the factory farms are all enclosed and no one's allowed inside. There's a reason why they need that secrecy, because anytime anybody gets a camera inside, they find horrific cruelty. And it's not just PETA, it's not just animal rights people, anyone who goes inside and sneaks a camera in. So anyway, I, th I think the reasons why people eat meat is, number one, ignorance, because they're not aware, or number two, denial, because it's much easier to go along with the crowd. It has been found that vegans are healthier than the general population and live an average of six to ten years longer than meat eaters. It is not surprising that the plant-based diet has helped Lisa Bloom maintain her excellent health. People always ask me about vegetarianism as how it affects my health. Yeah. Um, which is good because I'm the healthiest person I know. I mean, I haven't been sick in ten years and even then I wasn't very sick and when my kids were little and they'd come home with flus and coughs and runny noses and I take care of them and I didn't get sick and uh, you know I run marathons I climbed Kilimanjaro I, I'm an extremely active person I mean, I really am the healthiest person I know by far. Mm -hmm.